It's a dirty job, but someone's got to do it if the homeowner won't. That's what a city contracted crew has found in Winnipeg's inner city at the home of Jack Zastre, after the city warned him eight months ago that the mess is illegal. Zastre is angry that they're taking what he considers mostly valuable stuff and charging him for the work. I just couldn't get rid of a lot of stuff like they wanted me to. I tried. I got rid of a desk and a few other things and, you know, but now they're here for Christmas and they're just taking everything away and then they're going to give me a huge tax bill. They took away everything I was going to use to fix my house. Off camera and without their names used, some of these contractors say this McGee Street mess is among the worst hoardings they've ever seen. Just about everything you can imagine is in this pile of junk here in this yard. Apparently it's contributed to a rat problem in this area. That's what some neighbors say. And one woman here apparently even calls this the village of the mice. The city says it ordered Zastre to clean up the mess eight months ago, then moved in to do the work when not enough, if anything, had been done since its letter to him. Zastre says he came across all the items, from bicycles to desks to kitchen utensils, almost naturally. It's all over. It's all over the city. People are hucking it. So we're, some of the stuff I bought at auctions. So some of it you just pick up and move trash? Yeah, that's some of it, but it's not trash. A Winnipeg seniors organization says cases of severe hoarding appear to be increasing in the past few years, though it's partly because more are being reported. Ross Romanuk, Winnipeg Sun.